Hey everybody, it is day four and we are docked in St. Martin today. We are, we have an excursion to go on a rhino, rhino boat. I think that's what Jordan called it, is a rhino boat. And we're gonna just go sail around. There are shops here in St. Martin, like most every cruise port. I don't know if we're gonna go in, into any of them, but they're there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you along. We are taking the GoPro and not the big camera. So if the footage later on it throughout the day gets blurry or watery, that's why. I just didn't feel comfortable taking my big camera with me on a small boat through the ocean. So um, I am taking my gimbal to get some shots of the port for y'all. And we're going to go eat something and then we're going to disembark and go have a great day. We actually backed in and we are super excited to see land for the first time in basically three days. So we're about to go get a taxi to where we need to be going for our excursion. Bloody. Up, but I'm not sure what the hand signal is there. Buddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, do you see that wave? No jump in the waves. Oh, 
I look like a hot mess. But I'm having a good time.
everybody's gonna get ready to go do the flow rider. What a whirlwind day four was. So today we docked in St. Martin and it's not a tender for us. So we actually got to dock and 
we had breakfast and then we got off the ship, took a taxi, and went to go ride some rhino riders. So it's just like a mini boat basically. And let me tell you, that was an adventure. On the way out to snorkeling, um, the ride was fine. The ride coming back from snorkeling, it was a mess after snorkeling time. I mean, it was fun up until that point and like it made me so sick just from the like coming down so hard and where we were placed on the mini boat or whatever Andrew and I were just it was a lot it was a lot and every time you came down it was hard and so the it's hard to describe I guess I'll just have to insert the footage but it hurt so bad and but when you figure out a comfortable way by the time you figure out a comfortable way, you hit again, and it's just not, it's just not a great time um, on the way back. The seas were rough, so it wasn't really necessarily anything, okay, keep in mind, my husband likes to have fun, and he was having fun because he wasn't up in the front of the boat or the middle of the boat, banging all around, and he was just driving. However, so the seas- So he's at the bottom, where he, where he doesn't get hit. However, the the seas were rough coming back, and I don't, like, it was just, I am so sore, and tomorrow we are going to St. Thomas, and I feel like I'm going to be even more sore. It hurts to do this, it hurts to do this, it hurts to do this, it hurts, it hurts everywhere. Like, because I was hanging on for dear life, literally dear life, like, this is how my butt was going in the seat up and forward almost out the boat and almost back to the back of the boat and then we we got off and then we got back to the port or to the rhino place and we did get the photo package it was twenty dollars for a whole bunch of photos of us on the rhino rider on the way out which was a lot better on the way back then then on the way back i should say but like we still had an overall good time except for that whole thing like I don't think the guy knew how rough the seas were because at the same time the all all but three of us were trying to keep up with him the rest of them were all the way back like you could barely see them so anyway so after that we got off we took another taxi back to the port we were gonna walk around but I was just so done and so sore and so beat up like I feel like I got in a fight or I don't know what I feel like. I just feel like my whole body is just bruised, like on the inside. Like it's hard to show bruises on me, but like I feel like if you touch my arm, it like hurts like a bruise. But anyway, so overall good excursion. We didn't book it through the cruise line because there was nothing left to book, even though we booked the cruise in like September. Um, so here's your travel agent advice for the day book as early as possible so we can book those excursions for you because if you don't then you may not get exactly what you're looking for we purposely picked the rhino riders because we did something similar in Hilton Head and it was fine I just think the seas were a little rough for going that fast that the guide wanted us to go well, we it was a great ride um, going to and from the rhino riders just by taking a taxi it was eight dollars there and then we didn't negotiate the price on the way back, which was a mistake on our part. But Jordan went ahead and just paid 30 bucks. Um, because you know that should be enough to get us back. So, um, that's you know, cab fare plus tip. So, um, everything was air conditioned, everything was uh, like it wasn't rickety or anything like that. We never felt like we were in danger. So, all in all, it was a good day. Once we got back, we did go to the buffet, have lunch, and then Andrew rode the flow rider. Um, after that, we came back to the room, we got changed, and then we went down to the boardwalk to have a couple drinks before dinner, and then we went to dinner. And then after dinner, though, Jordan and I went and watched Jennifer Singer, that is her actual name, and she is now Royal Caribbean's feature artist across all the ships. She did open up Wonder of the Seas, and it will be no surprise if she goes and opens up Icon. It was a really, really good show, and she had really, really good um, 
she had really good backup singers with her that she takes with her. And then um, the orchestra was phenomenal. It was really, really good. So if you're on any Royal Caribbean ship and Jennifer Singer is singing, go see Jennifer Singer sing. And she said, yes, that is her real name, um, that her parents would rather her be Jennifer Doctor, but her name is Jennifer Singer. Um, Andrew went to the teen club for a little bit during that time, and then afterwards, Jordan and I did go to this casino. No, we did not strike it big, but we still have three days left to do so. So maybe that'll, maybe that'll happen, I don't know. It is now bedtime. We do have to be up super early to go to our uh, catamaran sail and snorkel with sea turtles tomorrow. I'm actually very, very excited. That should not be as rough of a ride as it was today by any means. I'm just looking forward to kick back and relaxing in one of my favorite ports of all time, which is St. Thomas. And I hope to bring you guys along. Okay. Oh, Buddy keeps getting these ducks. So, so, <laughs> Buddy keeps getting these ducks and... He's got a whole collection of them going. He's been getting them in the Boardwalk Arcade. And I know a lot of people hide ducks on ships, but he just is going to an arcade and getting them. So I think he's going to start him a little a little ducky collection, if already, you will. I already have myself a little collection. Oh, he says he already has himself a collection, so my bad. But yeah. It's fun. We are headed to sleep, my friends. It is... 10:49, and we have to be up at 6 to be at where we're supposed to be going by 8 30 because once you get up you gotta go have eat breakfast and yada 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 but we're gonna go have fun tomorrow aren't we buddy there's buddy so um also dinner tonight was caribbean night and i just had a steak i didn't see anything that i liked andrew had a pork chop Jordan had tiger shrimp. They said it was really, really good. Just not my kind of favorite cuisine. And then tomorrow night is my least one, my least favorite of them all, which is Mexican night. So I don't know if I'm going to be eating in the buffet or I'm going to go down there with them because steak is not even an option tomorrow. But I don't like Mexican food, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you for all your support. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked us trying to die on the rhino boats or if you found this useful. Y'all enjoy whatever you're doing. I hope you all have a good day and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.